The Denver Broncos just followed a blueprint that lots of successful NFL teams have been putting to use, and that is they hired a former NFL veteran to take over for the role of Christian Parker, the defensive backs coach. We're going to break it all down in this video and so much more. If you're new to this channel, my name is Ben. Uh, this is not my typical setup. My kids are asleep. We are on a family vacation, but I had to get away because I couldn't wait to bring you the latest and greatest Broncos news all the way through till we are breaking our eight-year NFL playoff losing streak. Uh, let's dive into the news of the day that we heard uh, last week. So we heard Christian Parker had really our most successful position group had been our defensive back position room. They, uh, with standouts like McMillian, who came in as an undrafted free agent and just lit it up. We had, obviously, Pat Sertan being not just a pro bowler but an all-pro, and then Justin Simmons playing at a pro bowl level. So when you look at our selections to the Pro Bowl, two of them were guys Christian Parker had coached. And so we all were wondering, hey, what's going to happen? Who's going to fill that vacancy? And I'm super pumped with who we got. This is not someone who was even on my radar as an option for the Broncos to get. The other exciting thing about this is Mike Kliss uh, tweeted that this person who took this position also had been speaking to several other teams about their vacancy. So it's not just we chose him but seemingly he chose us. He is also a former Denver Broncos safety. We'll get into that in a second. So his name, uh, Jim Leonard, and if you if that starts to ring a bell, it means you're getting older like I am. I, it's just crazy to me to see players that I remember playing with in Madden who are now coaches for us. But if you look to uh, what the Raiders did at their head coach position, what the Lions did at their head coach position, this idea is if you have, have made it to be the elite of the elite and you're playing in the NFL, that means you're probably... Uh, have some great leadership qualities to get to that level and that's sure enough what we have here. So we have multiple people who've reported it. It is not a thousand percent signed uh, but the fact that it is all over I, th I think it's uh, a pretty safe bet. So former Wisconsin Badger uh, played you know was a, a coach there. He also was uh, targeted for several defensive coordinator positions so that's also a cool a cool sign. This also lets us know, as Broncos fans, we probably need some room for growth for him, uh, knowing that he already was on people's radar for a defensive back, uh, defensive coordinator position. How long will he be happy just being the defensive backs coach? And so we need to have kind of a succession plan for him to, to climb the ladders. But you may remember seeing him wearing number 37 as a former Denver Broncos defensive back. Uh, and again, taking over for Christian Parker. Uh, and I think it's just a really, really good sign here. So if you look who we played for 2005 to 2014, uh, you've heard the idiom before NFL stands for not for long. So the fact that you make it nine years at a position like that when you're undrafted, you know, it seems like teams constantly are giving the benefit of the doubt to their players they draft highly because they have kind of spent some money. So you think, Jerry Judy's getting multiple cracks at it because we've drafted him in the first round. So to make it nine years as an undrafted guy just shows you are different. You're built different. That's what makes me love Chris Harris so much is uh, look at how far he went and he was an undrafted dude. So again, uh, yeah, from 2005 to 2014, he played with the Bills, the Ravens, the Jets, the Broncos, the Saints, the Bills, the Browns. Uh, 431 career tackles, almost five sacks, 14 interceptions. Uh, and then he had coached the Wisconsin Badgers, and now he is with the University of Illinois. So Big Ten football, a lot of people like to hate on it, but uh, the fact is that there's a lot of pro systems there. Um, and it, it's very cool to me that we had a guy who other people wanted who came here because of a conversation with Sean Payton. So a lot of people are saying this is a shocking name, uh, people are saying that it might be a promotion within, but we've, you know, we hear it at the start of the off season. It's hard to believe that we're going to have at least um, 60 to 70 percent turnover in this overall Broncos squad. We're already seeing it in our coaching staff, bringing in Sean Payton's from New or friend from New Orleans, bringing in a new scout, bringing in this new defensive back coach. We're going to have to replace uh, the coach that we just lost who went to the Vikings. But really, our coaching um, setup should be kind of in place now this week so that we can turn to the true question uh, because that's the domino that's going to knock all over other dominoes over and that is the question of what is going to happen with Russell Wilson. We'd, we've addressed it time and time again but I haven't had a chance to speak with you all since Sean Payton went on his media tour at Radio Row. My goal is y'all help me grow this channel so big that 
you know, next year when the Super Bowl is in Saint in New Orleans, maybe I can be on Radio Row and ask Sean Payton what you want me to ask him. And I would be like, hashtag the dream. Uh, but he came out and said, we're not. It's not going to be a long time. But all of the rumors that we had heard over the past couple of weeks about the Broncos trading up to one of those first top three picks, uh, Sean Payton kind of put a little uh, water on the fire and said. We haven't even started scouting yet. That meeting started today for the Denver Broncos, and he's like, I don't even know the guy's jersey numbers. Uh, now, I don't think that's exactly true. He was an analyst at Fox News, and he ranted and raved about how much he liked Caleb Williams. So I think the truth is probably in the middle there. Like, I think the rumors that Sean Payton wants to find the answer in this year's draft, there's probably some truth there. The idea that we've built our trade package to move up or that we know for certain that we want Jaden Daniels or Caleb Williams or Drake May or whatever, I don't think uh, that is for sure. But um, we heard really conflicting things from Sean Payton. Very curious to hear if, if you all picked up on this when you watched Sean Payton's um, interviews. He talked with uh, Kay from Up and Adams, right? The Kay Adams show, very cool. But I told you a couple weeks ago that when he goes on, like he gives preferential treatment to her. And so when she says something, I think that has more weight than if, I don't know, like a Dan Patrick says something who's not as plugged into Sean Payton. But Sean Payton said two conflicting things about Russell Wilson. He said he likes a uh, quick decision maker, an on-time passer. And then he said Russell Wilson has a chance. And so those are the conflicting reports that we're hearing through his interview on Radio Row. Um, you know, if you want a quick, on-time, scheduled passer, Russell Wilson isn't your dude. Yet, at the same time, he said they still haven't made their decision, and Russell Wilson still could be the answer. Um, so, very curious to hear what you all think, what is going to play out over the next couple of days. Uh, like I said, even though here I am, like, sweating like crazy in Florida, jealous of the snow in Colorado because it's hot down here, but you will not miss a second of it with me here because... Um, I, I got kids who take naps during the day, so I will be bringing it to you each and every day. So thank you so much for subscribing. Thanks for all the love on this channel. Uh, the Super Bowl did not play out exactly how we wanted it to. I don't know what hurt more watching uh, Patrick Mahomes win his third, right? And that's like, I've always prided myself as a Broncos fan. It's like, we've had three Super Bowls in my lifetime. And Pat Mahomes already has that in his short career. Also hurt a lot to see John Elway um, up there on the stage with the Super Bowl trophy to our sworn enemy. But um, we will be back there in no time, right? If, if we make a couple great decisions, I really do think um, that we will be vying for the playoffs sooner than later, um, and we'll be doing it together. So Broncos country, giddy up.